Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Andrew. And today, Andrew, what we're talking about is we just did a video on is the housing market going to crash in Florida? But now what we're going to talk about is we did one last year, the pros and cons of living in Florida. And I'm like, okay, we did one in 2022, pros and cons. We did one in 2023. But the difference right now is with these hurricanes and the economy and what's happening with the housing market, there's the the 20 pros and cons have really really changed on some of them oh without a doubt yeah okay so we're like well what we said last year doesn't really apply not every some of them apply but not every one applies this year okay yeah, that list has probably come down by about half well yeah i think that i i believe there's more cons right now about from last year of living in florida but we're going to go over 20 pros and cons and you know one just tell us what you guys think in the meantime do me a favor consider subscribing it really helps out the channel it's greatly appreciated give it a thumbs up and share this video so one of the pros of living in florida and it's one of the cons now i think is we are in late october and it's freaking 90 something degrees <laughs> it is hot right now <laughs> okay and we had a couple of days that were cool so people are going to say, you know what, the, the weather is the pro. And the other people are going to say the weather is a con. So put it this way, the, the weather is always a pro. The con is the humidity. The humidity is brutal. Like, you know, what are you talking about? April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah. But but, but look at it. But like today, today, it's it's up there. It's in the high 80s, low 90s. And the humidity is not bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. We're just, this is just pure sun we're sitting in. Right. Um, and, you know, like, so the nights, though, are cool now. It's like we had last night was like like 64 degrees. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, that's a positive. So to, to you, is, is the weather a pro or a con? The weather to me is, a, is definitely a pro except for like, you know, July, August, and September. Humidity. I know you're from California, so I know California, San no Diego. Humidity. Yeah, yeah, the weather is beautiful. Big pro that's still the same as last year is no income tax, which we don't have here. Oh, yeah, that, that's tax. huge because, like, when people get a paycheck, you know, like, just say you were making, this frog was like $100, and if the taxes, the income tax for the same. state was, say, $10 or $15, that's money in your pocket. Now, if you were in New York or L.A. or most of the other states, that's $15, $20 they take away from you. Every, every dollar matters. But now I'm going to throw something else at you guys. So you don't pay an income tax in Florida, which is great, but you're going to pay a premium, a premium on car insurance oh, and it. homeowners yep. insurance. And that's so in my opinion, the money you are going to save on income taxes in Florida, you're going to pay it probably more just on car insurance. You know, like it's funny when I was up in New Hampshire, you know, we were like, okay, how much is your car insurance? Yeah, twelve hundred bucks, thirteen hundred bucks. You know, over here they don't go by what. Hey, how much is your insurance? Yeah, they don't go by that. They're like, oh, my payments on car insurance here in Florida is six hundred dollars a month. They go by payments. Yeah, monthly payments for yeah. car insurance. That's how stupid car insurance is. And homeowners insurance is even re more ridiculous. Like a lot of these houses around us over here on the water, they're easily paying over a thousand dollars a month oh yeah so that's and, a and, big you, and, and these people have to have yeah you gotta have two insurances you have to have your homeowners and your flood insurance so that might even be more than a thousand dollars a month and if you have a, and if you have a, a mortgage, mortgage yeah. you have to have insurance yep you have to have both insurances the homeowners and the flood insurance that is one of the things that changed from last year's pros and cons list because insurance and property taxes got worse like i always said on probably a lot of the videos once you reach a certain point of paying property taxes, so mention I don't feel like you own the own the property. It feels more like you're renting it from the county or the township. True, but we just had a, a ballot um, on for this election coming up. There was what is it, Prop Four or Five? I have no idea. All right, there's a proposition that's on there that you know because when you hit 55 years old in Florida, your taxes kind of get capped out. You know I didn't saying? even know that. Oh yeah, yeah. You can apply for the Homestead Act, where like I am part of Homestead. Okay, yeah, but house. okay. So on the on the which is if you didn't apply for that, say your taxes were three thousand. If you apply for the Homestead, your taxes come down to yeah. But that's that's not that's, so. Let's no, give but, accurate information. 
homestead is for anybody that owns a house that's a primary residence. Yeah, but when you're over 55, you, you get another deduction. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, and what they did was they just passed, well, it didn't pass yet because you got to wait for the election to happen in November. So verify this information. There, there's there's a proposition that's on there so that, like, if um, if the value of your property goes up, right, uh, the, the, the uh, you know how, like, the homestead only gives you a certain percentage? 3%. Yeah, now that will go up with the inflation of the property. So if your property went up 5%, so that cap will go up 5% so that they're not making extra money on you. So they're giving you that leeway. It'll, yeah, it'll, I didn't, it'll I didn't hear way. anything about that. But we'll, Yeah, it's we'll, like we'll, prop four or five on yeah, the ballot. You guys look, look into that because I haven't heard anything about that, yeah. but look into it. All right, so one of the pros, obviously, in Florida is the beaches. They got beautiful beaches, but you got to go down south. You know, you got to go like Sarasota. No, the, Pan the Panhandle has some beautiful beaches. Well, too. but then you got to go all the way up north is what I'm saying. Like right here in our area here off the Gulf, we're in kind of low lying water. So ours yeah, but, aren't but the greatest. Yeah, but 20 minutes, you know, if you go if you go down by Tarpon Springs, you know, yeah, oh, beautiful. St. Clearwater, Pete, beautiful, Clearwater, unbelievable clear, beaches. Clearwater beaches are one of the nicest. And then, you know, you have the East Coast and, and the West Coast. If you, if you like Daytona, rough, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, if yeah. you like rougher water and a more of a breeze, you're on the East Coast. You know, it's more, if you want more calmer water, you're, you're on the West Coast. So the beaches is definitely still a pro. And, and the beaches on our side here on the West Coast, all water is warmer, longer. And basically, I'll say earlier, too, than on the East Coast. Because yeah, that, that's a cooling water. Yeah. Another so another pro for I'm going to do two pros in a row is tourism. So some people are really big Disney fans, you oh, know, and yeah. Universal and theme it's parks a and everything. Yep. People actually move to Florida just for the theme park. Yes, just for Disney. Like their whole house will be Disney. I yeah. know I know people. I physically know I have friends that are like Disney fanatics. Like Bed sheets, underwear, suits, ties, mugs, plates, shower but, but, that, but one of the <laughs> benefits there, too, if you want to get to the theme park, you know, sometimes, I don't know if they're doing it now, they give discounts to Florida residents to get into the parks. But you have to be a Florida resident. Yeah. Um, well, you get the yearly pass. But the yearly pass is like a thousand bucks. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. I haven't bought them in a while. But the if, you, whole, if you go, it's worth it. But in, 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 in the morning, you know, in the morning, I... Um, could go to Disney or Universal or SeaWorld and then spend the day there and be back at my house on the West Coast within oh, an, uh, an hour and, and a half. I was going to say, hour and a half, two hour drive. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot. Like you could go from where we are. I mean, we could go, well, if you're going to drive, right? You could go to the Keys and be there in, in seven hours. But now they have that bullet right, right. train. You know what? Oh, no, the, the, uh, the, the ferry. Yeah, they have the ferry. We yeah. got we got to do that ferry to the Keys. That yeah. doesn't go to Miami. It goes to the Keys. Yeah. So, but what is? But and that ferry is like I think it's like fifty nine or sixty nine dollars. Oh, I have no idea. One but way. That, but you're there on what? An hour and change? Maybe not even. I've never done it before. Yeah. But maybe we should do it. Yeah. You know? and it takes you down, and then they you either stay overnight or they have a they leave at a certain time. You know, it's it's definitely has you know a time frame. You know, leave eight in the morning, come back at seven at night, kind of thing. But <laughs> well, on. one one of the biggest cons about Florida, and it's worse this year. And I know so many people that have post traumatic stress over it is the hurricanes. Like we talked about hurricanes last year on the cons, but now I'm going to emphasize it because, you know, where I, I personally got hit twice where I am, my area where I am, if like if I took you guys With, around. Within two weeks. Within two weeks, we got hit by Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton. So I think a big, huge, huge con is hurricanes. I don't care where you live in Florida. Some people disagree with me, but I don't care if you're on the Panhandle, East Coast, West Coast, South. I don't care. If you're coming to Florida, over time, you will get hit by a hurricane. So you have to do your research on where you're buying, if you're buying in a flood zone, you know, what kind of house you're buying. And I'm not kidding. I'm not joking about this. It's not a joke. You know, I never took, I always took her hurricanes seriously, but I have a whole new respect for them now. Oh. I, I like well, after these two hurricanes, I'm like, you know what? They they're the king. They they can knock us out whenever we want. Well, the thing with hurricanes, if you if you live like we here, we are sitting on the water. Uh, this is very dangerous because it's water that does really a lot of damage and takes lives. Um, and the wind, yeah, it, the 
it was windy as hell. It was really bad. But, you know, in certain areas, it's a lot of big gusts and you won't get hit with water. But you got to worry about, you know, trees because a lot of trees in Florida. But the other thing that nobody's talking about, which actually did probably the most damage, was the tornadoes. Storm surge. No, the tornadoes that they had in, in Port Lucie that killed like 15 people. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't, oh, yeah, I they had, yeah, they had during, during Milton. It was tornado touchdowns. And that happens a lot towards that side down there. Um, they had a bunch of them. They had uh, during Milton. I may not be correct on the number here, but there was, according to like you know local reports and stuff, something like 122. I don't want to call them active tornadoes, but like where they started up, maybe faded away quickly. But you know, they, yeah, they I haven't done potential. research to that, but yeah. I, I heard there was tornadoes. But yeah, the tornadoes. storm which got got us. Yeah, one whole like so in uh, Fort Pierce, is it? They got yeah. destroyed by tornado. Yeah. Here's, a, here's another con of, of living in Florida, and um, it changed from last year's con list. It is more and more crowded. Usually in the winter, you know, after the holidays, we get the snowbirds in here and the streets are, are crowded. But now so many people have moved here to Florida that the roads are just crowded all the time. And now they're building these houses and they're building them so close to each other. And the, the population is so densely it's so dense right I, I, now. I know these houses are four feet away from each other. Yeah, and they're like the. It's like ridiculous. Like you can really touch two houses at the same time, and I'm not a big fan of that. And so when there's storms, obviously there's more damage because everything's so close. Everything's so close, and so many people yeah. are together. So I think it's a big, big con of Florida about the amount of people that are moving here. All right, let me rephrase that. The amount of people moving here in certain areas, because state, Florida is a big state and yep. there's a lot of open areas, but yeah. everybody's moving to the same places on the West Coast and East Coast, and it's it's becoming oh yeah, they're stupid. and they're just building thousands of houses, full communities, and it's all about tax revenue. And you know what? Sometimes you have to kick back and say, we don't need it. You know, like just keep the grass green. You know, keep the trees up. And it's politicians. You know, they like they want to raise the tax value. And I hate to say it, they do it in every state. And But Florida had, over the last 25 years, had a lot of building, but now it's like gone through the ceiling. Like it's after COVID, it became crazy. Yeah, and another thing too that's a con in Florida is, you know, it didn't change from last year, obviously, but it's, it's limited seasons. It's freaking hot. It's freaking late October and it's freaking hot. It is, I'll tell you how hot it is. It's it what, is. 91? It is. It's it's just freaking hot. And if you want the four seasons, Florida's not for it you. It says it's 86, but we're in like direct sunlight. So so maybe, you know, the Panhandle doesn't have the same weather as, you know, Miami does. You know, obviously there's a temperature Because this is, this is considered Central Florida, right? Yeah, Central Florida. Okay. Yeah. So if we're 86 now. Miami's probably 94. So let's talk about public transportation. Now, I think it's getting a little better because they're doing the train from Orlando to Miami. And they're doing it from Miami Tam to Tampa and Tampa back to Orlando. It's going to be a triangle. Right. I don't know if that one's open. I didn't even know about it until recently. Yeah, they're doing a triangle where they go. So, but, you know, but lack of and they're doing, transportation and the one was a big thing. Uh, and the one from Orlando is supposed to, this Amtrak is supposed to bring a line in to go straight up towards Chicago. To Illinois, mm -hmm. which, you know, open up a lot. And they got now the ferries. Now we can catch a ferry here in Tampa and go all the way down to the Keys instead of driving by car seven hours. You do it yeah. an hour and change. Yeah, we got to do that boat ride to Fort Collins to uh, Key West. and we got. Is that where it's it. out of Fort Collins? I think so. Somewhere yeah. that, that I have never done it before. It's not that bad but at all. He, here's something that a lot of people, you know, we haven't really talked about in this channel is... Um, because some people, you know, argue about it, but I want to see what your opinion is, especially since you're from California. Climate change. A lot of people are saying that Miami is going to be underwater, you know, within a few years. You know, storms are getting more powerful, worse, and everything. I have my opinion, but I just want you to touch on it. Okay. Okay, I want you to just touch Look, briefly on it. Climate is always changing. Right. Always, like 24 hours a day. Now, is it... When we talk climate change, we talk like, is it going to get, you know. Is about, Miami going to be underwater? No, I don't. I put it this way. I don't know what the future holds, but I don't believe so. You know, I mean, things may change where, okay, it gets a little warmer by a half a degree and maybe the water does come up a quarter inch. 
but you know there are going to be times when it actually is lower and you know cooler so it's hard to say you know we've you know it's it really it's 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 like playing lotto you don't know but you got to live for the day and not for the next 25 years you know one one thing that i've learned about florida since i lived here is florida has a pretty good health care system I, way, I don't know because knock on plastic and metal and everything else, I've been pretty good so far. I haven't been involved in it. Um, but I would think just because of the there's a lot of older people here that it does have a pretty good health care system. I do see the ads on TV for like the Tampa General. And I know that those hospitals are like some of the best in the country. At, at a, know, lot a, lot, a lot. Another thing that's true is what's cool is a lot of active retirement you know, military is here, you know? A lot of military is here. Yeah. A the, lot. Uh, retirement. But you know something, and this was, it was a pro a couple of times, but now it's a con. Retiring in Florida, because it's so expensive to live in Florida, be like Florida, you know, was the highest, say, inflation state. Like our inflation went up the highest than any other state. Yeah, Florida but, was. But was that because everything was so low to start with? I don't know. It just everything went up so high. But Right now, I know so many people that, you know, Florida's not the number one place to retire anymore. It used to be the place to go no, to retire. No, what is it, like Alabama? Tennessee. Or Tennessee. Now, look, Tennessee's great. Tennessee's got beautiful old I, I love Tennessee. Tennessee. But everyone always is like, you know, Nashville, Nashville, Nashville. And Nashville is becoming, like, overpopulated, overbuilt. You know, it's like, it's just going to be, a, it's a tourist trap. But Tennessee also has, like, you know, they get hot and they get cold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so, if you want seasons and yeah. stuff. But what my point is, one of the things that changed off the pros cons list from 22 and 23 is this is not the state to retire in anymore. It, but but put it this way, it's not the state to retire because of a specific reason. Yeah, a specific reason is you got to freaking be rich to live in Florida. Florida's at the end of the day is going to be for the rich. I don't I don't necessarily agree with that. Okay, all right. Let me rephrase it. Florida. It's going to be for the rich for the East Coast and the West Coast and the popular areas. Well, yeah, if you're going to if you're going to want to live on the water, you're going to have to have some money because it's going to be expensive to live there. Um, and then, you know, like but this Florida's had a lot of rich places for a very, very, very long time. Basically, since but day one. I know a lot of people like, you know, I know a lot like these houses here. OK, all of them, they got flooded. The ranches on the ground. What do you think? They're going to rebuild. They're not going to rebuild. They, they can't afford it. Even with no, the they're going to they're they're sell a developer. They're, they're going to sell it. a developer. And then who's going to, and they're going to, and then the and investors. It's gonna be like what's right across from us. From yeah, the, the, investor, the investors are going to build a million dollar house. Yep. Okay. And then the, the rich are going to move in. And then the people that don't have that money can't live here. Well, they, they can't live, say, here on the water. But they can go inland. Listen, or the, up the only reason I bit. even own, the only reason I even own this property is because I bought it during the last crash. Well, that's because you were smart. You know, nobody wanted this property. Well, that's even crazier. Someone should have bought it during the last crash. You know, like, I'm surprised it wasn't a bidding war. Even even my house, I bought it during the last crash. I didn't, I was I was living in Tarpon Springs. I didn't need it, but it was just too good of a deal to pass up. And now, you know, obviously, um, it, obviously I lucked out. But what I'm just saying is. But there's a lot of people who have for, 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 reti for, for retiring, for, for retiring, it's uh, Florida is just too expensive. Yeah, but but are we talking retiring as in like people from Florida retiring? Or are we talking about people coming from New York, Jersey, Illinois retiring to Florida? Well, New York, New Jersey, people moving retiring to Florida, maybe they could afford it. But people moving from Alabama, the Midwest. Put it way, if you're from right? Alabama, you're not moving to Florida. Alabama's gorgeous. You're gonna stay in Alabama. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna or you, maybe you'll move to Tennessee if you're from Alabama, or if you're from Tennessee, well, you move to Alabama. Well, but well, those people aren't going to come here. Well, what's happening a lot too is people from New York and and Jersey and Connecticut and all the people from the East Coast is they're mo they're moving to Florida and then they're realizing it's just too freaking hot and they too they, expensive. The halfbacks and they're halfbacks. Yeah. So what that means is they're not going to go back to New York, New Jersey. Now they're going to go to North Carolina, Georgia, and South Carolina. <laughs> they go halfway back. <laughs> halfway back, and that's why we call them the halfbacks because they don't make it all the way back. But they're like, yeah, the Florida is not they, for they us. They love they love the weather to an extent. A lot of people that a lot of people that move to Florida, they think it's going to be one big vacation. It's not. No, it's not. It's 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 regular life. You know, let's be honest. There's a lot of people here who are retired 
who have gone out and gotten jobs. Now, I'm not saying they've gotten jobs because like they need the money, they're desperate. Some of them got the jobs because they got nothing to do and they're bored out of their minds. Because let's be honest, you can only fish so much. Well, that's a, that's a big pro. If you're into fishing, that's why I moved to Florida. Yeah. You know, I told my wife, let's just go move to Florida. She came kicking and screaming from New Hampshire. Let's move to Florida just for the fishing season. And yeah. she, she said, then she realized that the fishing season ends December 31st and starts January 1st. 365. <laughs> <laughs> so she wasn't too happy, but now she loves Florida. She wouldn't live anywhere else. I love Florida too. Florida is great. I mean, but, it really is. But there's, there's no perfect place to live. No, there's not. And let's be honest, there's a lot worse places to live. And and I don't mean like worse as in like, you know, economy wise. something. I'm just talking about like, you know, you go up north and it's half the year it's raining and freezing out. You know what I'm saying? It's like even New York, the weather has changed in New York where their summer is maybe two to three months if they're lucky. You know, like where it's actual beach weather here. I mean, it's what's today, October 14th? No, and, it's like October. No, today's eight. the 14th, isn't is, it? Is it already yeah, October it's Columbus 14th? Day. And it's or Indigenous Peoples Day. And it's 88 degrees. Anyways, people, tell us what you think. If this is a pros and cons. I know we left a few of them out, but we wanted to give you an example. There is there's no perfect place to live. Florida is not a perfect place to live, but I don't know of any place that's a perfect place to live. And a lot of people are just saying, you know what? The United States is not a perfect place to live. And a lot of people are moving out of the country. They are. Yeah. So, as always, do me a favor. Consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, and watch this video over here. I picked it out just for you guys, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you.